Hello, Amber here from Love Fit. Um, today I wanted to answer a question that came through on email in response to one of my recent newsletters. Um, the question I'm going to answer today is around over-exercising. Um, the lady posed the question to me which was, is it possible to over-exercise? Not so much in the sense of injury, but in the sense of does your body stop responding if it's overworked? So the answer here is yes, absolutely. It is possible to overexercise. Um, and as you rightly pointed out, in terms of injury, yes, but also in terms of your body sort of losing its response and not getting the benefit from the exercise that you want, that is entirely possible and entirely likely if it's overworked. So what does this actually mean in terms of practical application? Am I saying don't exercise? Absolutely not. Am I saying don't exercise every single day? Possibly, we'll come to that. Am I saying don't exercise hard every day? Yes. I'm a great believer in pushing yourself. I really am. Um, and of course, you know, without going off on too much of a tangent, what pushing yourself means is very individual and depends on where you are in your fitness journey. Um, but while I am a huge advocate of really getting people to see what their amazing bodies can do, if you constantly push, 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 you train hard every day, um, or even just a lot more than you were previously, but you suddenly ramp up your weights, your mileage, your frequency, whatever it is, um, you drop your rest periods, then if you do too much too soon, or just in general do too much, your body will feel overworked. And if your body feels hugely overworked and fatigued, not only is injury a real possibility, but yeah, your body will just not really achieve the results you want. Now, there's a lot of science behind that in terms of how the body actually works. So, you know, if you're if you're training um, for hypertrophy, so you're trying to get bigger and stronger, then there's a certain amount of catabolism that has to happen. Muscles actually have to break down by being pushed to a limit and then they rebuild um, and that's where the growth comes from. And if you don't allow the rest periods, that's why sort of um, bodybuilders have leg day and chest day and all the rest of it is to allow that rest period. But for most of my viewers, that's probably not something they're looking for. But yeah, if um, I, I guess actually relevant to my ladies, um, for women who've had babies, um, and certainly if you're in that sort of first year, then often you're really tired, um, especially if you've got a baby who doesn't sleep particularly well and or you've gone back to work already and you're juggling those two things. It can be really tough and really tiring. Now, exercise is an amazing outlet for mental health. It's really important for building back your core strength and your pelvic floor function and all the rest of it. But it can, um, you, you can overdo it, okay? And I, I don't wanna go on too long, I wanna keep this video under five minutes, um, but you get the picture. Also, further down the line, if we look at the sort of perimenopause and menopause period, um, due to the massively declining estrogen levels, your sort of get up and go is hugely affected during this time. So often the kind of workout that maybe suited you in your 30s and for sure in your 20s isn't gonna be the one that is most beneficial for you now. Again, everybody's different. I can't make a blanket prescription here, but often you're gonna to need to find some more gentle exercise. So you might still wanna run and you might still wanna run long distances and enter races. You might still wanna lift. Um, you know, I've recently gone back to CrossFit and there are people of all ages there doing lifting and that's great and it's really good for your bone density and all the rest of it. But maybe going hard and heavy every single day um, or really frequently isn't gonna be right for you and you can just stop getting results because your body feels too tired to actually be able to get the most out of it and you actually feel the benefits of your training more if you're able to implement some down training and you're able to implement some walks um, some lovely foam rolling sessions, do some yoga, do some lighter stuff, okay? So yeah, don't go too hard all the time because your body won't actually thank you. Injury aside, um, which hopefully is fairly obvious, you, you just feel depleted and then comes the danger that you then just stop doing anything because you lack the energy to do anything at all. Does that make sense? I hope that answers the question. Thank you um, for sharing the question and do ask with anything else. Thanks ladies, bye.